The outcome of today's events are critical for all teams involved and especially for Pushpa Pandey who oversees airside operations and Sukumar Panda who is responsible for making all infrastructure operational. Along with their teams, they've put in months of hard work leading up to today's validation flight where aerodrome navigational aids and instrument procedures will be tested to see if they meet operational requirements. Today what we will be seeing is the validation of the flight procedures which was designed by our Airport Authority of India flight procedure design team. Airlines need to prove that whether all these procedures which have been designed is achievable with respect to instrument flying conditions. This is part of the certification process for the new runway. The preparation per se is you to make the infrastructure which is the runway and the surroundings as good as an operational runway. In the spotlight is this 4 kilometer long and 45 meter wide stretch of perfectly laid out tarmac. It's capable of handling wide body aircraft in all weather conditions. The fate of the new runway depends on today's validation flight. And with the stakes being so high, every possible precaution has been taken. It's an important milestone today in the preparation of our second runway. A few weeks back we had uh, the calibration of the ILS done. Once the calibration of the ILS is completed, uh, what DGCA does is it approves the procedures on which the flight should operate. The flights that are operating today confirm and validate that those procedures are all right and that's what we are here to witness. We were very happy to see all the airlines doing touch and go and then carrying out a missed approach also. Uh, nice to have the first rubber on the runway. Now it's one step closer to making this runway operational. Once operational, the two runways together will progressively be able to handle up to 90 flights per hour or a takeoff or landing every 40 seconds.